Hello and welcome to this uh, third episode of Friends Table Read or Friends Zoom Read. Today we are going to be seven people reading and myself am going to be Joey this time. And the part as Ross is going to be read by Veronica. The part as Chandler is going to be read by Eleanor. And Rachel is going to be play, read by Sarah. Phoebe is going to be read by Emelina. Monica is going to be read by Katarina. And instruction and all other parts is going to be read by Fred. I hope you will enjoy this. Uh, we will certainly do. So Fred, kick us off. Friends. Season 1, Episode 3, The One with the Thumb. Scene. Central Perk, everyone but Phoebe is there. Hi, guys. Hey. Hi, hey, Phoebe. Hi. Hi. Hey. Oh, oh, how did it go? Um, not so good. He walked me to the subway and said, we should do this again. Oh. oh. Ouch. 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 What? He said we should do it again. That, that's good, right? Oh no. Loosely translated, we should do this again means you will never see me naked. Sounds good. Since always. It's like dating language. You know, it's like, it's not me. Actually means it's you. Or you such a nice guy means... I'm going to be dating leather-wearing alcoholics and complaining about them to you? Or, or you know, um, I think we should see other people means, haha, I already am. And everybody knows this? Yeah. Cushions to blow. Yeah. It's like when you're a kid and your parents put your dog to sleep and they'll tell you if enough to live on a farm. That's funny. That, no, because um, our parents are actually the... Uh, Send our dog off to live in a farm. Oh, Ross. What? What? Hello. The Milners farm in Connecticut. The Milners had this un unbelievable farm. They had horses and, and rabbits that he could chase, chase. And it was, yeah, it. Oh my God. Chee chee. Mean. At Chandler's and Joey. Chandler, Chandler is helping Joey rehearse for a part. So how does it feel knowing you're about to die? Warden, in five minutes my pain will be over. But you have to live with the knowledge of that you send a man, an honest man, to die. Hey, that was real good. Thanks. Let's keep going. Okay. So, um, what do you want from me, Damon, huh? I just want to go back to my cell. Because in my cell, I can smoke. Smoke away. Zoe takes out a pack of cigarettes and a lighter. He fumbles and drops the lighter. <laughs> then he lights a cigarette, takes a puff, and coughs. <laughs> I think this is probably why Damon smokes in his cell alone. What? Relax your hand. Not so much. What? Hey. Hey. All right. Now, try to take a puff. I'm fine. I'm visibly winces. Uh, all right. Um, okay. No, no, no. Give it to me. Okay. Oh. No, 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 no. I'm not giving you a cigarette. It's fine. It's fine. Look, do you want to have the, the this part or not? Here, come on. Okay. Don't think of it as a cigarette. Think of it as, as the thing that has been missing from your hand. When you're holding it, you feel right. You feel complete. You miss it? Nah, not so much. All right, now we smoke. Oh my God. 
Queen, Central Park. Everyone except Phoebe and Rachel are there. No, 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 no. They say it's the same as the distance from the tip of a guy's thumb to the tip of his index finger. Guys stretch out their fingers. That's ridiculous. Can I use either tongue? All right, don't tell me. Don't tell me. Decaf for Joey, <clears throat> coffee black, latte, and iced tea. Pretty good. Getting pretty good at this. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Excellent. Excellent. Good for Rachel me. Rachel leaves to serve others. The gang swaps all the drinks for what they ordered. As Phoebe enters, she sits down without saying hi. You okay, Phoebe? Yeah, no, I'm just, it's, I haven't worked, it, it's my bank. What did they do to you? It's nothing, it's just, okay, I'm going through my mail <laughs> and I open up their monthly, you know, statement. Easy. And there's 500 extra dollars in my account. Oh, Satan's minions at work again? Yes, because now I have to go down there and deal with them. What are you talking about? Keep it. It's not mine. I didn't earn it. If I kept it, that would be like stealing. Yeah, but if you spent it, it would be like shopping. Okay, okay. Let's say I bought a really great pair of shoes. Do you know what I hear with every step I took? Not mine, not mine, not mine. And even if I was happy, okay, and, 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 and skipping, no, no, mine. No, no, mine. No, no, mine. No, no, mine. We're with you. We got it. Amber leans over the back of the couch out of sight. Okay, I just, I'd never be able to enjoy it. I would be, it would be like this great karmic debt. Chandler, what are you doing? Hey, what are you doing? Amber tries to shrug it nonchalantly. But eventually he has to exhale, exhale a mouthful of smoke. Oh, 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 oh God. God. Oh, God. What is this? I'm smoking. I'm smoking. I'm smoking. Oh, I can't believe you. You've been so good for three years. Yep. And this is my reward. Hold on a second, all right? <laughs> Think about what you went through the last time you quit. Okay, so this time I won't quit. Oh, put it out. Put it out. All right, I'm putting it out. Putting it out. Drop some Phoebe's coffee. Oh no, I, I, I can't drink this now. All right, I'm gonna go change. I've got a date. There's Alan again. How's it going? It's going pretty good, you know. It's nice. We're having fun. So, when we do, when do we need, get to meet the guy? Let's, uh, let's see. Today is Monday. Never. Oh, come, uh, on. come on. Come on. No, not, not after what happened with Steve. What are you talking about? We love Steve. Steve was sexy. Sorry. Look, I don't even know how I feel about him yet. Just give me a chance to figure that out. Well, then can we meet him? Nope, sorry. Dean, Aridium, Monica and Paula are at work. I mean, why should I let them meet him? I mean, I bring a guy home and within five minutes, they're all over him. I mean, they're like coyotes picking off the weak members of the herd. Listen. As someone who's seen more than her fair share of bad beef, I'll tell you, that's not such a terrible thing. I mean, they're your friends. They're just looking out for you. I know. I just wish that once I'd bring a guy home that they actually liked. Well, do you realize the odds of that happening are a little slimmer if they never get to meet the guy? Scene, Monica and Rachel's. Chandler is smoking out on the balcony. Phoebe is absent. 
Let it go, Ross. Yeah. Well, you didn't know Chi Chi. You all promise? Yeah. 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 Promise. Promise. I promise. We're good. Chandler, do you promise to be good? Chandler makes a cross my heart sign. It starts to rain and he taps on the window. You can come in, but you leave your filter tipped little, little buddy outside. Chandler solidly picks up the garbage can, garbage can lid and uses it, uses it as an umbrella. Phoebe enters, walks to the couch, sits down, and begins to read a letter without saying hi. Hi, Thebes. Dear Mrs. Buffet, thank you for calling attention to our error. We have credited your account with $500. We're sorry for the inconvenience and hope that you'll accept this football phone as our free gift. Do you believe this? Now I have a thousand dollars and a football phone. What bank is this? The intercom buzzes. Hey, it's him. Who is it? It's Alan. Chandler, he's here. Chandler comes in dripping wet. Okay, please be good, please. Just remember how much you all like me. She opens the door and Alan enters. Hi, Alan. This is everybody. Everybody, this is Alan. Hi. Hi, Hi Alan. Alan. I've heard so much about all of you guys. <laughs> Everyone laughs. laughs. Time lapse. Alan is leaving. Thanks. I'll call you tomorrow. Uh, okay, okay. <laughs> Let's let the Alan bashing begin. Who's going to take the first shot? Hmm. Come on. There you go. Let's start with the way he kept picking at. No. I'm sorry. I can't do this. Can't do this. We loved him. Loved, loved his him. great. Yeah. Wait a minute. We're talking about someone that I'm going out with. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and did did you notice? That's her thumb and index finger. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know what was great? The way his smile was kind of crooked. Yes, yes, like the man in the shoe. What shoe? From the nursery rhyme. There was a crooked man who had a crooked smile who lived in a shoe for a while so i think alan will become the yardstick against which all future boyfriends will be measured what future boyfriends no no no. i i think this could be you know it really oh yeah i'd married him just for his david hasselhoff impression alone you know i'm gonna be doing that at all parties right you know what I like most about him, though? What? 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 The way he makes me feel about myself. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hmm. Simple perk. Monica is alone, alone with Ross, Rachel, Chandler, and Joey enter dejectedly in softball gear. Hi! Hi uh, how was the game? Well... We, we, we won! won. Oh, thank you! Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic! I have one question. How is that possible? Alan. He was unbelievable. He was like that, that, that Bugs Bunny cartoon where Bugs is playing all the positions. Right. But instead of Bugs, it was first base Alan, second base Alan, third base. I mean, it was like... It was like he made us into a team. Yeah, we sure show those ha Hasidic jewelers a thing or two about softball. Can I ask you guys a question? Do you ever think that Alan is maybe sometimes... What? I don't know, a little too Alan. 
Well, no, that's impossible. You can never be too Alan. Yeah, it is uh, innate Alanus that 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 we adore. I personally could have a gallon of Alan. In a street, Phoebe walks up to a homeless person, Lizzie. She knows. Hey, Lizzie. Hey, weird girl. I brought you alphabet soup. Yeah, but I left in the Y's, because, you know, sometimes why. Um, I also have something else for you. Um, no, but I would like you to have a thousand dollars and a football phone. What? She opens the envelope Phoebe has given her. Oh, God, there's really money here. I know. Weird girl. What are you doing? No, I want you to have it. I don't want it. No, 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 no. Uh, I, I have to give you something. Oh, that's fine. No, no. Would you like my tinfoil hat? No, because you need that. No, it's, it's okay. Thanks. Please, let me do something. Okay, all right. You can, you can buy me a soda and then we're even, okay? Okay. Okay. Scene. Chandler's office. Chandler looks around, opens his desk drawer, takes a puff of a cigarette, sprays around some air freshener and takes some breath spray. He types for a little while, opens the drawer again and takes another puff of the cigarette. While not paying attention, he sprays the breath spray around the room, takes a squirt of the air freshener and gags. Scene, a street, Phoebe and Lizzie are at a hot dog vendor. Keep the change to Phoebe. So you don't want a pretzel? No, I'm fine. See ya. Phoebe opens oh. the can and reacts. See, Central Perk, Phoebe is telling everybody about her discovery. The thumb? <laughs> I know, I know. I opened it and there it was, just floating in there, like a this tiny little hitchhiker. Well, maybe it's like a contest, you know? Like a collector five? Does um, anyone want to see? No! no. <laughs> no, cut it Don't out. Don't do that. Yes. Cut it out. Cut it out. <laughs> That's worse than the thumb. Hey, this is so unfair. Oh, why is it unfair? So I have a flaw. Like Joey's constant knuckle cracking, isn't that annoying? And Ross with his overpronouncing every single word. And Monica with that snort when she laughs. I mean, what the hell is that thing? I accept all those flaws. Why can't you accept me for this? An awkward silence and shoes. Does the knuckle cracking bother everybody? Well, I, I, I could live without it. Well, is it like a little annoying or is it like when Phoebe's uh, chews her on her hair? Phoebe spits out her hair. Oh, now, don't listen to him, Phoebes. I think it's endearing. Oh, oh, you do, you do, do you? <laughs> you know, there's nothing wrong with speaking correctly. Indeed, there isn't. I should really get it to work. Yeah, because otherwise someone might get what they actually ordered. Oh, 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 the hair comes out and the gloves come on. Disturbed. Scene. Iridium, Monica, and Paula are working. Did you ever go out with a guy uh, your friends all really like? Nope. Okay. Well, I'm going out with a guy my friends all really like. Wait, wait. 
we're talking about coyotes here. All right, a cow got through. Can you believe it? You know what? I just, I just don't feel the thing. I mean, they feel the thing. I don't feel the thing. Honey, you should always feel the thing. Listen, if that's how you feel about the guy, Monica, dump him. I know, it's gonna be really hard. Well, he's a big boy, he'll get over it. No, he'll be fine. It's the other five I'm worried about. Scene, Central Perk. Joey and Ross are persecuting Chandler about his smoking. Do you have any respect for your body? Don't you realize what you, you're doing to yourself? Hey, you know, I've had it with you guys and your cancer and your emphysema and your heart disease. The bottom line is smoking is cool and you know it. Chandler, it's Alan. He wants to speak to you. Really? He does? Hey, buddy. What's up? Oh, she told you about that, huh? Well, yeah, I have one now and then. Well, yeah, now. Well, it's not that big of... Well, that's true. Gee, do you know? No one, no, one, no one ever put it like that before? Well, okay, thanks. God, he's good. If only he was a woman. Yeah. They give each other, they give each other a dubious look. Scene, Monica and Rachel's everyone, one except Monica and Joey is watching Lamb Shop. Ooh, Lamb Shop. How old is that sock? If I had a sock on my hand for 30 years, I'd be talking too. Okay, I think it's time to change somebody's nicotine patch. Hey, where's Joey? Joey ate my last stick of gum, so I killed him. Do you think that was wrong? I think he's across the hall. Thanks. There you go. Ooh, I'm alive with pleasure now. Hey, Phoebes. You're gonna have the rest of that pop tart? Phoebes. Does anyone want the rest of this pop tart? Hey, I might. Oh, sorry. You know, those stupid soda people gave me $7,000 for the thumb. You kidding? You're kidding. Oh my God. Oh God. And on my way over here, I stepped in gum. What's up with the universe? What's going on? Nothing. I just think it's nice when we're all here together. Even nicer when everybody gets to wear their underwear. Uh, Joey? Oh, God. <laughs> okay. Oh, hey. no, come, on. come on. Come on. Please, guys, we have to talk. Hey, wait, I'm getting a deja vu. No, I'm not. All right, we have to talk. There it is. Uh, okay. It's... It's about Alan. There's something that you should know. I mean, there's really no easy way to say this. Uh, I've decided to break up with Alan. <gasps> All gasp and clutch at each other. Is that somebody else? No, 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 no. It's just things change, people change. We didn't change. So that's it? It's over? Just like that? You know, you let your guard down, you start to really care about someone, and that, and I just, I... <sighs> Look, I, I could go on pretending. Okay. But that wouldn't be fair to me, it wouldn't be fair to Alan, it wouldn't be fair to you. <laughs> Who wants fair? You know, I just want to, things back, you know, the way they were. I'm sorry. Oh, she's sorry. 
I feel better. I just can't believe this. I mean, with the holidays coming up, I, I wanted him to meet my family. I'll meet someone else. There'll be, there'll be uh, other Allens. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. right. Are you guys going to be okay? Hey, hey, uh, we'll be fine. We're just going to need a little time. Oh, I understand. Seen. A restaurant. Monica is breaking the news to Alan. Wow. Um, I'm really, really sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry too. But I gotta tell you, I'm a little relieved. Relieved? Yeah. Well, I had a great time with you. I just can't stand your friends. Scene. Monica and Rachel's. Everyone is mopping around and eating ice cream. Remember when we went to Central Park and rented boats? That was fun. Yeah. He could row like a Viking. Monica Anthony. Hi. Mm. So, how did it go? Oh, you know. Did he mention us? Uh, he said he's really going to miss you guys. You had a rough day. Uh, come here. That's it. I'm getting a cigarette. No, 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 no. I don't care. I don't care. Game's over. I'm weak. I gotta smoke. I gotta have the smoke. If you never smoke again, I'll give you seven thousand dollars. Yeah. All right. Yay! And that's a wrap. Thank you. Thank you.